Let's check in once again with Lynette Romero. Good morning, Lynette. Good morning, Kirk. I got to tell you, there are already two uh, pretty good sig alerts working right now, so it's tough going on the road. We thought it might be holiday light, but not so far. Let me tell you what's going on with that first sig alert in Bell Gardens. Uh, this is at the 710 North at Florence. What happened here is there was an overturned big rig. It blocked all the lanes. Initially, they told us that the parties were trapped in the cab with that big rig, uh, but no injuries are being reported. A couple of alternates for you, uh, alternative roads, you can take the 5 freeway. Uh, another alternate route might be the 110 if you want to stay off of the freeway. Uh, maybe go to uh, Garfield or also Atlantic Avenue. You can get around that. You see the slowing, though, starting before the 105. And let me tell you about that other sig alert, Mission Hill to 118 West at Sepulveda. A vehicle hit the guardrail. The guardrail ended up in the number four lane, causing all kinds of problems. That's going to be slow going until at least 7 a.m. That's the latest from here in the Traffic Center. I'm Lynette Romero, sitting in for Ginger Chan. Back to you guys. Lynette, thank you this, Lynette, thank you this morning. Brought you by Companies. Good morning, I'm Lynette Romero filling in in the traffic center. It's not so bad out there, but we are working two uh, pretty good sig alerts we want to tell you about. Uh, the first one that we've been talking about all morning long is uh, in Bell Gardens. It's a sig alert at the 710 North at Florence. What happened there was a big rig overturned. It blocked all of the lanes. Initially, they talked about uh, people in the cab of that big rig being stuck, but there are no injuries reported. Again, a couple of the alternates that you could take, you could take the 5, you could take the 10. If you want to stay off the freeway, you can also take a Garfield or Atlantic Avenue. That would be a pretty good bet for you as well. The other signal that we're looking at is Mission Hills, the 118 West at Sepulveda. A vehicle hit the guardrail. That guardrail ended up in the number 4 lane. That's blocked until at least uh, 7 a.m., so about another half hour. And we're going to leave you with a look at the Brea Pass, the 57 South at Brea Canyon Road. There are two vehicle injuries there. Um, but there, are two, there was a two-vehicle um, collision, and there are injuries uh, involved. We do understand that the fire department is on the way, but that's right there on Brea Canyon Road and the 57 South. That's the from here in the Traffic Center. I'm Lynette Romero. Kirk, back to you. Lynette, thanks very much, and good night. time now for a check with Lynette Romero at 643. Traffic brought to you by Jean Cummings. Good morning. We started off with one sig alert, two, and now we have three sig alerts to tell you about. The first one is the one in Bell Gardens. We've been talking about this for a little bit. Uh, we're going to show you the map there so you can see exactly what's happening in Bell Gardens. This is off the 710 uh, north at Florence, an overturned big rig, big rig blocking all the lanes there. Again, we do know that there are no injuries being reported. A couple of alternates that we're telling you about, maybe the 5, the 10, maybe Garfield or Atlantic. But you do see the speed indicators there. Uh, to the southbound, the top right there of your screen, 12 miles an hour heading northbound. It's all the way down to 4 miles per hour, so really slow going there, and that's going to stick around for a little bit. Our second sig alert is in Mission Hills, the 118 west at Sepulveda. The vehicle hit that guardrail. We told you about that. The guardrail ended up in the number 4 lane, and that is still causing problems in that area along the Sepulveda Boulevard, the 118. And um, the third sig alert of the morning is in Burbank, Verdugo Avenue. The on-ramp to the 5 South has been shut down for a half an hour, but producer Brian just tells me that the sig alert has been canceled. It was blocking, it was a bus that was blocking the on-ramp, but apparently got that all cleaned up. So we're back down to two sig alerts. So that is good news from the traffic center. Back to you guys. <laughs> to our casita, the traffic with Lynette in Virginia. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Jessica. Glad to have you back. We're glad you're feeling better. And always good to see you, Eric. I'm filling in for Ginger Chan in the Traffic Center. I'm Lynette Romero. We're going to have you covered on the roads, your morning drive. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit lighter later on because right now we're still working a couple of sig alerts. The first one we've been talking about all morning, Bell Gardens, the 710 North at Florence. There was an overturned big rig. Uh, it's blocking all lanes still. Uh, there were problems getting the people out of the big rig cab, but we're told no injuries are reported. But right now they are diverting traffic over to Florence. You can also take uh, the 5, you can take the 10. You want to try to stay out of that area. You can see the uh, speed indicators on the top there, 14 miles per hour. That's heading southbound, northbound, 4 miles per hour. But there is some heavy fog in the area, so that likely played a factor. Um, let's look over at the sig alert in Mission Hills, the 118 West at Sepulveda. A vehicle there hit the guardrail. Uh, the guardrail ended up in that number four lane, and you know what? It's still not cleaned up, so it's still causing enough of a problem for it to remain a sig alert at this hour. That's the latest on the roads. I'm Lynette Romero in the Traffic Center. Back to you guys.
Yes, and it is a little bit on the foggy. Full of details on your seven-day outlook coming up in just a moment. Let's go to land in traffic. Thank you, Mark. It's kind of tough going on the roads this morning. Not exactly Friday light or holiday light like you thought it might be. We're going to show you that uh, signalers that we've been talking about all morning long there in Bell Gardens, the 710 north at Florence. That overturned big rig is blocking all of the lanes there. There were problems getting the people that were trapped out of the cab of that big rig, but we were told no serious injuries reported. You can see there on the top southbound, that's the southbound, 13 miles per hour. Uh, the northbound uh, is going 8 miles per hour, so pretty slow going. A couple of alternatives for you. You can take the 5, you can take the 110. Another good bet might be to take Garfield or Atlantic to try to get around that area. And apparently fog is also pretty heavy in the area as well. And let's go to downtown Los Angeles, the 101 North at Grand. There is a two-car crash blocking the fast lane. So be careful if you're going through there. That's always a tough road anyway. Uh, so it's going to be even more so with this uh, accident in that, in that area. And then Caltrans, let's look at Glendale, the 5 South. Not Friday light. It's not awful, but it's not great. Back to you guys. Lynette, thank you. All right, today is next. Thanks, Mark. We have a couple of problems we want to tell you about on your morning commute. The first one is in Bell Gardens. We've been talking about that all morning long. It's been a slow road there. 710 North at Florence, an overturned big rig, has caused problems. All lanes are blocked. Parties were trapped in the cab of that big rig. No injuries, though, to report. You can see there on the top of your screen, that is the southbound uh, mile per hour, 15 miles per hour. Lower part of your screen, six miles per hour if you're heading north. So that is a big, big problem. In Sherman Oaks, the 101 west of Van Nuys, there is a stall car in the fast lane there. So be careful. That's a tough place to be if you're in that fast lane and your car gives out on you. So really try to be careful there on the 101 in Sherman Oaks. And let's look at the Caltrans camera, the 405 north at Avalon Boulevard. And you can definitely see that fog. That's the latest from the Traffic Center. I'm Lynette Romero. Back to you. Still talking about the Good morning, I'm Lynette Romero filling in today in the Traffic Center for Ginger Chan. We've got our eyes on the road for you. The first problem we have, we've been talking about it all morning in Bell Gardens. Right there on the 710 North at Florence, an overturned big rig is blocking all the lanes there. It's been going on all morning long. You see the slowing going on uh, actually even before you hit the 105. A couple of things you can do to get around this. You can take the 5, you can take the 110. They all are to bring traffic to Florence, but another way to go might be Garfield or even Atlantic Avenue. That might help you stay away from that area. And we're also gonna give you a look at uh, the city of Compton. Look at this, this is the eastbound 91. Pretty smooth ride, but boy, look at that fog. That's the latest from the Traffic Center. I'm Lynette Romero, I'm gonna send it back to you guys. Is in traffic. That's right, I am in traffic, Mark. And you know, you're talking about the fog and weather, we're talking about the fog. Also, when it comes to your morning commute, it is causing some problems out there. We're going to take you first to the signal where we've been talking about all morning long. Uh, that is at the 710 North at Florence. You can see that it's three miles per hour. That is what's heading northbound. So that's a big problem. This is an overturned big rig that ended up blocking all of the lanes. A couple of ways around it, you can take the 5, the 110. They are diverting traffic onto Florence. You can also take Garfield or Atlantic as well. And let's go to the 5 northbound, the 605 in Santa Fe Springs. There is a three-car crash there that's causing a lot of problems. You can see the red. You can see lots of yellow. It is slow going all along there, the 605 and the 5. And let's look at LAX. A lot of people might be traveling for the holiday weekend. If you're expecting somebody in or expecting to park, you can see what it's looking like right there. A lot of heavy, heavy fog. But as you heard Mark say, it will burn off. That's latest for now in the Traffic Center. I'm Lynette Romero. Back to you guys.